Hi, my name is Ty Grayson. And I'm Charlie Bradley. We are students here at Star City High School East Program. There have been many different changes and challenges this school year that have related us to the pandemic. Star City High School East has learned to endure. Due to the pandemic, we have had lack of communication and collaboration, issues forming projects, and all in all, just the whole East experience. We miss our trainings together at East. We miss having guest speakers come to our class. We miss working together in person, but hey, aren't enduring these challenges part of what we learn in East? Facing these challenges help us think outside the box and grow as students. We hope all of our East programs learn from this experience as we did. Welcome to Star City High School East. Our local animal shelter is operated by a single woman, Amy Dean, who volunteers time every day to make sure stray animals are vetted and either adopted or sent to animal rescues in the northern states. To secure homes for these animals and attempting to make room for other animals in need, she requires fosters. With trouble securing fosters for the animals, she cannot accept any more animals into the shelters located at her home or in the city of Star City during a certain period of time. We decided to step in and create a Meet the Fosters Day where the community business leaders and volunteers will help Ms. Dean introduce animals to potential fosters, help fill out foster applications and speak with them about the animals that they may think may be a good fit for their family. Students have been in contact with Ms. Dean and she is very excited about this project. Currently students are waiting for good weather and securing business owners and community members as volunteers for the event. An aquaponic garden is a food production system through the combination of aquaculture such as the fish and hydroponic plants. We have created a small aquaponic garden inside the classroom so that we can learn the processes. We submitted a donor's cheese and was gifted the aquaponic garden. After research, we realized we would need a certain type of food for the fish because, you know, what we put in the fish is also put in the plants. We purchased the fish, let it cycle, and then added vegetable sprouts. The growth rate was phenomenal. Once we learned the processes, we were planning on implanting a large outdoor aquaponic garden into our school. Their goal for this project is to grow enough fresh foods to donate to those in need in connection with another East project, the Little Pantry. Have you ever wondered what those lower income families do when they are paid short that month but still make too much to receive funding for food and items that meet their basic needs? To our community, we see that as a large problem. We observe that many families do not receive government assistance and also turned away from our local food pantry due to how much they are paid. In this project, our goal is to promote giving and donating to those that cannot afford household items or food that week or month. We begin by brainstorming ways we could do this. We thought that maybe they could change the regulations in which people receive assistance, but instead we decided to design, create, and implement a little pantry in our community where people can drop off food and household items and others who need it can go discreetly and grab what they need for that week. We were gifted a small storage building to use as the little pantry from generous donors from Donors Choose, and one of our awesome community members also donated a lot in our town for the little pantry. The feedback in our community has been amazing. Now we are waiting for the storage shed to come so we could place it in the slot, build in shelving, and create a sign. We hope that it will be in full swing within a month. 
Ty and I are both avid outdoorsmen and we spend many of our days at Cane Creek State Park where we boat and fish. One of our problems that we've noticed in the state park is the amount of metal and debris that is washed up on the boat ramps or the shore. So we decided it was time to clean up our beautiful state park before it was overfilled with metal. We applied for a Donors Choose grant through our facilitator's account for magnet fishing kits which would help us remove the metal from the lake. Within a week our project was fully funded. We received our materials and went out to the lake. We recovered a few large pieces of metal and tons of small debris which consisted of fishing hooks, weights, and unidentifiable metal shards. One of the larger pieces of metal is believed to be a part of a railroad track. Star City has not had a functioning railroad system since 1959. All parts of the railroad system were removed a few years following 1959, which was known as Cane Creek State Park used to be rows of crops and farmland. The area was seized from families through intimate domain in the 1970s, which leads students to believe that there are antique farming artifacts. The lake also borders Bio Bartholomew, the longest bio in the world. We plan to continue this project in hopes that they can remove large amounts of metal waste from the lake and recover their history from the Star City area. If enough can be pieced together, we plan to create a digital museum of what was recovered along with plotting our findings through a GPS to make more connections. We also applied for another donor's choose to secure a drone for documentation purposes. It was funded and we received the drone. We are learning how to use it and have a few obstacles to get around involving the state park and permits for flying drones. At Star City High School, there's always been a lack of communication when it comes to informing the students about upcoming events. We no longer have the bulletin or the school newspaper, so it has left the student body in the dark. The school does advertise sports events throughout social media, but not all students have social media. This has led us to the idea of SEHS News. Every week we make a video that usually lasts between two to three minutes to inform students of the upcoming events for that week and remind us for the administration. After filming and editing, we upload the video to Google Classroom so that all Star City High School students have complete access and can stay updated with our school events and remind us each week. As it may not seem, we have run into many changes and challenges this school year. Thankfully, the projects that we have have successfully progressed. We are extremely grateful for those community members that were brave enough to collaborate with us during this pandemic. If you have any questions about our projects or future collaboration opportunities, please do not hesitate to reach out with us. Thank you and have a great East Conference 2021.